Welcome back. I'm Jay. We got Steve behind the camera. This is the Heads Up Show where we talk about football helmets and everything related to football helmets. Everybody's watching football, Jay, and everybody's seeing something new on the field this year for the NFL. A few years ago, NFL kind of passed a rule where they stripped all the logos off the helmets. So gone were the Riddell, the shut logos on the front of the back of the helmets, um, whatever the chin, you know, logos on the chin straps, all that stuff was gone. But Steve, we have a logo that has returned to the helmet. Now, the only logo that you're gonna see on the helmet nowadays, besides the team logo, Oakley. Uh, Oakley has gotten into a partnership with the NFL and they're supplying the NFL, not only with the visors that are on the field, but sunglasses to all of the coaches and the support staff. And there you're gonna see these things popping up all over the place. I've gotten on the phone and I've talked to some of the equipment managers at the NFL teams to get a little background on what's going on from their end. Plus we've actually spoken with Oakley. So we know what's going on from Oakley side of it. We're an Oakley dealer. We only thing we sell Steve Oakley is the visors, that's it. So what they've done is that they've essentially taken the mold from the visors that they've been using for decades and the shape has stayed the same, but now the optics are even better because of the prism technology. And the pris what prism is, it's they've changed the way that the colors will go through the visor from the outside coming in. So when you're looking out, you are seeing, or they're eliminating or they're adding the colors that you should be seeing to help optimize what it is that you're doing. What they've done is they've optimized it for the green of the turf, the brown of the ball, the blue of the sky, and the white of the stadium lights. And right. I've put this on, Jay. I was out in Austin, Texas when these were just coming to be. I'm telling you words, like I'm not gonna be able to describe to you how much of an advantage these visors are. You're still gonna see other visors on the field, no doubt, because especially in the practice and beforehand warmups, they're still not available in the coolest colors yet. Maybe that's coming in right. the future. So for the guys who are into fashion, OBJ, or other players like that, yeah, you're still gonna see them warming up in whatever they wanna warm up in. But on the field, when it kind of matters, a lot of the guys who have tried the prism visors are sticking with the prism visors. They at least are so far. Why do you think that Oakley was allowed or worked out a deal to actually have their brand on the helmet? Because that's a massive, yeah. Here, here's the thing. So Oakley has visors on the field, so they now have their Oakley O, and what you see from team to team, those stickers that are on the visor tabs are colored for the team, okay? Yeah. So uh, the Seattle Seahawks, for example, are their Seahawks green. But in addition to the players, you've got all of the support staff and the coaches and everybody wearing the sunglasses. And all of those glasses, sunglasses are going to be available for sale. You can go right, you can go to oakley.com and you can buy them there. But we will have the visors. And what we're doing is we're putting these the prism visors, there's two different options. There's a clear prism and there's a tinted prism, I guess you could call it, Steve? Yes. Um, it's not a very dark tint, but it is a tint. It's like, I would say maybe 20% tinted. So yeah. it allows about 80% of the light through. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, so you'll have those two options. And if you want to get your hands on some of these, get them now. We've already had the our delivery date pushed back a couple of times. So I think the demand on these things is pretty high. I know that from what it, you know, from talking with the NFL teams, basically all the ones they got, you know, that they ordered months and months ago when the deal, before the deal was even announced, all of those went to the teams first. Yeah, of course. And now there's kind of, they're kind of doing the second batch of these things. And then those are going to be going out to the dealers. So we are going to have these. I have no idea who else is going to be carrying them or not. They are a little bit more pricey. I think we're going to be selling them for Somewhere between 60 and 70 bucks. I'm not, sure, I'm not sure exactly. Yeah, but, but you can go to the website right now. You can get in on the pre-sale. So when they do come in, they'll go right out the door to you. Right. And I suspect, Steve, we will sell out because we, we're, we're only allowed to get so many. Yeah. Months from now, down the road, will probably be much easier and faster to get them because Oakley has always shipped really, really fast. You know, we place an order on Monday, we get the stuff on Wednesday or Thursday, no matter how much we buy from them. Yep, and we always try to bring you the latest and greatest, and this is another example of that. So let us know what you think of these. I know you're seeing them out on the field. Do you currently now have sunglasses, or have you tried something, maybe you have a Vice's helmet, with the present technology? Leave your comments below and let us know what you think of it. Do you like it? Do you not like it? Do you think it's a bunch of hooey? Or do you think it actually brings 
uh, you know, makes things clearer and easier to see. Like, subscribe, click the notification bell if you want to see more videos like this. Until next time, cheers. Cheers.